I'm Jeff Sproul, your publisher of Pearson's Pop Tropica. If you look at the Pop Tropica website in 2011, one sees millions of kids from across the globe having lots of fun engaged in our stories. But the best story may be the one of the creation and invention of Pop Tropica. The notion for Pop Tropica is actually very simple that we would create a virtual world in which to tell stories. We would make it very large, we would brand it, and then use that brand to continue to deliver content to kids, no matter how they might find their content into the future um, with inventions and distribution channels not even imagined or invented. So we're not doing a virtual world to create a social networking um, opportunity, not to house games, not to host a virtual economy, but to tell stories. And once we establish that, we would then move uh, that brand into other possibilities. Um, stories have been extremely important to kids across all generations of children. They help kids understand and celebrate and manage the world in which they live. Stories have been shared with kids from oral storytellers to printed books to TV to theater. Um, but that earlier generation of kids brought to the story a print literacy or a film literacy, for example. But kids today arrive with an expectation that they can use their gaming and digital literacy. So the point of Pop Tropica is to tell kids stories in the, in the literacy of their choosing. And it works. In our, only our third year, we became the largest kids site in the world. Uh, not that it was our intent to be the largest, but that it certainly validated our intent to be the very best possible publisher for a new generation of readers. In a typical month, we get over 30 million visits to the, uh, to the site. Um, kids come from over 100 different uh, countries. Uh, they have their web browsers set to over 90 different languages. And when they uh, arrive at our site, they, they spend an average of 30 minutes there. So if you do the math, in a typical month, kids from across the world spend the equivalent of over 1,700 years on our site enjoying our stories. We call our stories narrative quests. Think about how a kid uh, enjoys a video game. They sort of uh, get into it, they discover, they poke around, they explore, and eventually they accomplish whatever that video game intended them to accomplish. It's very different from a child who's reading a story in a book where the child is firmly directed from one page to the next page to the next page. Or when they sit passively in front of a, a theater screen or a TV and, and the story is unveiled to them. So what we do in Pop Tropica is we invite our kids into a story and then through curious interactivity they um, discover their way to the narrative story that was intended by our writers and illustrators and designers. This is really this is really stealth learning at its very best. Our stories involve Greek mythology, uh, examination of art, introduction to uh, early physics, and exploration of history. Um, so where did all these kids come from that have arrived to enjoy our stories? It's really, uh, again, based on a very simple notion that the content, quality content, will rule the day. So what we've done on Pop Tropica is focused all of our resources, probably over 90% of our resources, on the storytelling, on the design, the pacing, the illustration, the programming, the creativity. We, we're, because of the nature of how we deliver our stories, we, are, uh, we, we don't have to worry about a large infrastructure as a book publisher might, uh, who has to acquire books, develop books, manufacture books, uh, warehouse them, distribute them, et cetera, et cetera. And Hollywood really faces uh, the, the same sort of problem. So what we did on Pop Tropica, uh, is on day one when we were ready to go, we sent a couple thousand kids over from another kid's site to Pop Tropica, and it just took off. It became completely viral at that point. The kids took over. If one looks at YouTube and searches Pop Tropica, you'll find thousands of kid creative videos viewed by millions of kids. Those kids have also created uh, help blogs uh, and, and fan sites. So our traffic is really, I think of it as user generated traffic. Um, so what's the, um, the business model? Again, um, we're uh, very lucky 
uh, in that uh, unlike some of the other initiatives that one might consider in our space, whether it's in kids online or, or um, virtual worlds or different digital initiatives, um, we're not running uh, to go to an IPO. We're not uh, rushing toward uh, a next round of investment, but instead being housed to Pearson, we can firmly stay focused on the establishment of this powerful content brand for kids that someday we hope in the spirit of Penguin uh, or DK or Financial Times will be able to be a, an extremely um, powerful publishing brand for Pearson. So what's the revenue model? Um, a revenue model is, is multi-channel revenue. Uh, we have revenue coming in from membership and uh, virtual economy and advertising and licensing. Because we play in the consumer market and because our core customer is a nine-year-old without a credit card or without a purchase order in hand, it's really essential for us to have a span of revenue models and that's worked very well for us. Where next for Pop Tropica? Um, it's time uh, after three years and after building up this large audience uh, to start uh, to fulfill the promise of that brand carrying content uh, to kids in other ways. So we'll be publishing our first book in 2011. Uh, our, our, um, and we also be, will be um, launching a story-based uh, toy line. Um, our publishing partner is Penguin, which allows us, uh, because our audience is global, to publish that book on the same day in the North American market, UK and Australia uh, markets, which is very exciting. We will also be publishing some apps to bring um, uh, Pop Tropica better to, to mobile devices. We'll be doing a uh, game platform based uh, uh, product and um, we will then next year be launching the first of a seven book graphic novel series. Uh, so um, the, 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 the promise of that brand delivering more and more quality content to kids that continues to happen, it continues to accelerate. Actually, the story of Pop Tropica is never intended uh, to end, but this video must. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.